Kentucky lawmakers passed new restrictions for transgender youth in the classroom in the doctor's office, and now the ACLU of Kentucky is fighting back. It's been very difficult to see trans Kentuckians and their families targeted in the ways that they have been targeted with this legislation. Um, there's a lot of fear. Uh, there are people who are considering picking up and leaving their jobs and their homes. The ACLU's planned lawsuit against Senate Bill 150 deals with the ban on gender transition services for those under the age of 18. The organization says it's an attack on bodily autonomy. The Republican supermajority voted to override Governor Bashir's veto of this legislation. Senate President Robert Stiver says there are lots of regulations for those under 18, and this is no different. But we're talking about life altering procedures, either chemically induced or by a surgery. And for a person who is yet fully developed physically or intellectually. And that's where we felt we should draw the line. During the vote in the House, 19 people were arrested for refusing to leave during that vote, chanting to protect trans lives and linking arms. Those people were charged with criminal trespassing and are expected in court in two weeks. School and fire districts can now take a deep breath when it comes to bourbon tax. The final version of a law removing the bourbon barrel tax has safeguards for school districts and fire and EMS. The bourbon barrel tax is like a property tax bourbon distillers pay each year for aging barrels. It generates about $33 million a year for counties where the bourbon sits. Lawmakers voted to remove it to benefit Kentucky's signature industry, and those opposed were worried it would create million in funding gaps. You may see some adverse consequences to it along the line, but overall, the positives will by far outweigh the negatives. You're gonna see more job growth, more construction, more people coming there for tourism. And we think it'll have an overall net, by far a overall net positive impact. And now that it was passed, the bourbon barrel tax will start phasing out in 2026, the full removal in 2043. In the law, the bourbon industry has agreed to fill funding gaps for schools and fire once the 2026 phase out starts. Cities and counties also benefit do not have those safeguards.